Oh, so here it is, General Monk Monk, General Monk Monk. I think this is it. Oh, this is it, yeah. go next. Like General Monk Monk orders the chop 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 next. This is good shit. This is really, this is really good shit. It took Yaku 600 years to manufacture this tribe, Pale Evil Albinoids on the Isle of Pelon. And every Pale Evil Albinoids. By the way, you know, we got we got turkey representation right there. This is where the albinoids are coming from, the Caucasians, my people. Who is this strong-chinned uh brown handsome, brother right here? Handsome Squidward? Yeah, with the with <laughs> with the nutsack head with, with the afro drawn on the head. I'm not entirely <laughs> certain on on what's going on. That's back fro. I, I think he just got that back fro. You know what it is? It's like I'm too I'm too white, so like I look at this like in in the Harry Potter universe, you know when like muggles like the the non uh you know the non fucking wizard people can't see the wizard shit. Yeah, I look at yeah. this and I'm like, what's going on? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't I, understand I, it. Oh, I'm too I'm too I'm too Yakubian to understand <laughs> the deep theory. But no, oh, that's Doctor Yakub. That's Dr. Yaku. Wait, okay. didn't he didn't he invent white people? Like he created white people, Dr. Yaku did? Imagination of their heart and all of their actions were wicked continuously. The evilness of the albinoids not only affected themselves, but also affected the other peoples of the world. The albinoids entered the whole Dr. Yaku, this man <laughs> with a very powerful dome. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. He invented white people mm -hmm. um, because he was evil. Or and and evil white people destroy the planet. Um, that's that's where this is. Huh? That's where this is coming from. So he wants to destroy the planet. Yeah, that doesn't he, sound right. he's like. I think like How if you're he... gonna do religion, this is the right way to do it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, because like all this other shit's so boring. Like it's so played out. Like I have a this, lot of respect. This is a twist. I have a lot of respect for like Scientologists and like Mormons and stuff because they do like crazy shit. Did you know Mormons baptize people after they've died without their family's consent? After they die, they just dump dead bodies in water. No, 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 no. They like they baptize. They do baptisms without like the actual body present, like post death uh, baptisms. Okay. And they baptize like dead people, like Elvis. What's they the baptize they baptizing if they're not using the body. Do they just get like a? They just like they have like a like, secret. This I don't know. is the embodiment of Elvis Presley. They yeah. they, they have a they, <laughs> they spiritually baptize people. Yeah, that they select. Yeah, get they they baptize Obama's mom. Okay, which was a very why did they find why did they do her? They baptize everyone to save them. Okay. And oh, for um, sake. oh, they baptized uh, they baptized Anne Frank, which was kind of unacceptable. And then they baptized Hitler. What did they do that for? I don't know. What is it gonna take for me to get baptized? Yeah, they were baptizing by some people that I don't know. They yeah, were, man. They, they were baptizing. <laughs> they were baptizing Holocaust victims without like just asking anybody. They were just like, yeah, the anime religion is your ideal one. Yeah, exactly. They post mortem baptized Holocaust survivors and Hitler. I mean, yo. Yeah. Dude, I'm not even sure how to like process any of this information. You're I'm just, I'm giving so you so much. much. I'm, I'm hitting all <laughs> You're of the You're giving angles. me so much. I almost feel like I'm getting hot. Yeah, welcome to the, the fucking brain cancer that I live with on a daily basis. Dude, <laughs> how, bro? Like, I'm not even, I haven't smoked, drank, nothing. I'm like completely sober let, and let, I feel blazed right now. Listen, like, they, they retcon their religion a lot though, to be fair. Like, for example, black people were automatically evil in Mormonism, the mark of Cain. So like everyone has the capacity to get like a, to go to Mormon heaven, except for black people. And yeah, then they retconned it. Then they, yeah, then they change it when the government told them that we're going to tax you. Wait, basically. that's what they, wait, really? I did not know that part. I mean, they so. really, they really looked at, they were like, I believe. I mean, some, some, someone can correct me. Mark oh, this Luther. one, the Van Mormon cartoon, yeah. Was a ruled ago on one of these planets to an unidentified god and one of his goddess wives, a spirit child. This is what Mormons believe. When you die, you go to your own planet and you become a god of your own planet if you're child high enough. Was later born to human parents who gave him a physical body. Through obedience. To Mormon teaching and death and resurrection, he proved himself worthy and was elevated to godhood as his father before him. Mormons believe that Elohim is their heavenly father. 
and that he lives with his many goddess wives on a planet of course near a oh dude it's all about fucking yeah like That's all of these mm -hmm. like I mean, I, all I, religions wait, who's this? i can't run the planet if i don't fuck everybody yeah right, come on so you're <laughs> locked to your first wife in perpetuity in mormon religion when you go to your planet so even if you get a divorce which is like rare but like even if you get a divorce like your wife is still going to be there uh eternally your first wife with those as well yeah, I mean, I mean, Serious. this guy was he like, said, with those as well. <laughs> yeah, this guy, this is a real seventy-two virgins religion. That's Called right. Cola. Here, the god of Mormonism and his wives, through endless celestial sex, produced billions of spirit children. Endless, endless celestial. To decide their destiny, the head of the Mormon gods called a great oh, heavenly epic. council meeting. Both of Elohim's <laughs> eldest sons were there. Lucifer and his brother Jesus. A they plan was presented to build planet Earth, where the spirit children would be sent to take on mortal bodies and learn good from evil. Lucifer stood and made his bid for becoming savior of this new world. Or this is an Warning anime. the glory for himself, he planned to force everyone to become gods. Opposing the idea, the Mormon Jesus suggested giving man his freedom of choice, as on other planets. That's just what the that vote that followed approved the proposal of the Mormon Jesus this can't be would become savior of the planet Earth. Enraged, Lucifer cunningly convinced one third of the spirits destined for Earth to fight with him and revolt. Watch, watch what happens to those who are supporters of Lucifer. Okay. Thus, Lucifer became the devil and his followers the demons. Fire. Sent to this world, they would forever be denied bodies of flesh and bone. Those who remained neutral in the battle were cursed to be born with black skin. This is the Mormon explanation for the Negro race. Until 1978, if I'm not mistaken. Damn. I saw someone in the chat say that. They were like, they, just, uh, they, just they were added, like, my bad. They just added Damn. That yeah, they they pat. They they, so they kept everything but that part. Yeah, they were like, they put it. <laughs> they put it in the patch notes. They put it in the patch notes. They're like, no, nah, by our bad. Black people are good now. Honestly, they had a better patch than fucking Fortnite does nowadays. That's some, that's some, that's some dope shit. Bro, yeah, that's, that's crazy. Update. You you. They were literally shoveling this shit to, to everybody until the government said, we're going to tax it. And they just yeah, apparently they were also stopping them from playing like BYU uh, football games. <laughs> so they were like, you know. So demons Spirits are just that black fought people. Most yeah. yeah. Valiantly against Lucifer would be born into Mormon families on planet Earth. These would be the lighter skinned people or white and delightsome. As the Book of Mormon describes, you know what's great? Early you know Mormon somebody, prophets you know, taught that really, Elohim. You know, somebody watched this video before the 1970s and was like, "I didn't do it." <laughs> yeah, they, they're yeah. just like they've based like those their, blocks. Their entire idea of people uh, that don't look like them is based on this video right here, and like they, they yeah. like you won't ever know until you really question them. They're just like, "Well, look, I saw this video a long time ago, okay?" And it's just this shit. It's just like <laughs> motherfucker. <sighs> Bruh. So we got so we got the... it's, it's it's been a while since I've been like open mouth gaping offended like <laughs> they got black skin? That's what that's your explanation? Yeah, no, that's <laughs> that's how it that's that's how it works. And those demons. And those demons. The black skin. Wait, what, what's going on here? <laughs> the mark of Cain, yeah. Uh wait. To the Indians, who the Mormons believe are really Israelites. Thus, the Jesus okay. of Mormonism established. Oh, the beautiful part about the LDS, like Mormonism, is that like it's so America centric mm -hmm. as a religion. Like as though like Jesus is American. You know, the the Native Americans are uh, are are the original Israelites, which is really funny because it's like the Turkish people also uh, believe that Native Americans are Turks, but they like crossed over when the fucking continents were. Uh, oh, okay, okay. you know, way back in the day, yeah, Pangea. yeah, yeah, exactly. And then they crossed over to America and they like founded America. Like, everybody loves claiming Native Americans in their lore, yeah, actually, that's that's very true, yeah. And my grandfather always points to Havasu, like the lake, which means air and water. Mm -hmm. So, there's like, it's Turkish, he's like, that's why they're Turks, <laughs> anyway. His church in the Americas 
as he had in Palestine. <laughs> White people just said, yeah, fuck that shit. Get out of here. By the year 421 AD, the dark-skinned Indian Israelites, known as Lamanites, had destroyed all of the white Nephites in a number of great battles. The Nephites' records were supposedly written on golden plates and buried by Moroni, the last living Nephite in the hill Cumorah. 1400 years later, a young treasure seeker named Joseph Smith, who was known for his tall tales, claimed to have uncovered these same gold plates near his home in upstate New York. He found it in his backyard. He is now honored by Mormons as a prophet because he claimed to have had visions from the spirit world in which he was commanded to organize the Mormon church because all Christian creeds were an abomination. Respect. It was Joseph Smith who originated most of these peculiar doctrines which millions today believe to be true. Anyway, so that's like... I feel like there were just plot holes. Like, if this was a movie... <laughs> is there plot shit. holes? Yeah, like, he had visions from the spirit world. The fuck does that mean? Yeah, that's like... That. That, 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 that's easy to believe <laughs> that if you just... That sounds like poor writing. Literally, dude. Like, that's easy to believe <laughs> if you just, like, don't dig any deeper than the very surface. Yes. It's just like, if you just take that at, like, surface level, you're just like, cool, got you. I'll take your word for it. But, but I mean, I, I don't know, but it's not my religion, so... <laughs> The thing is, like, I mean, they they do this by basically fucking brainwashing you. Well, this is the we're we're going back to the real, the only yeah. real truth, the real true religion. Ah, the real one. Yeah. Okay, and and the stories of General Monk Monk. City of Mecca in the year nine thousand, because Yakub taught them that Mecca was their home. Once back in the city, it took only six months for the albinoids to cause chaos and war amongst the ebonoid people. Months. Wait, the king sorry, of the Evanoid okay, people realized for, that. Con for context, are these like opposing sides? Oh yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, got it. Never mind. Continue. By the way, I mean, it connects now. So, uh, uh, you know, he so he created the albinoid people, the the white people. Mm -hmm. Okay, and immediately white people were like, you know, fucking shit up, right? Mm -hmm. And they, it only took six months of Yakub's albinoids to cause chaos and war. Okay. It took only six months for the albinoids to cause chaos and it. war amongst the ebonoid people. <laughs> yeah, they didn't the waste the no time. people realized that it was the albinoids who were causing all the trouble, and the king made a decree to exile the evil albinoids from amongst them. The king put his strongest, toughest, and most unyielding soldier in charge of exiling the evil albinoids from amongst the ebonoid people. This legendary soldier's name was General Monk Monk. That's right. Although his name has been pronounced variously over time as General Muck Muck and General Muck Mud. General Monk Monk rounded up all of the evil albinoids there in the east and took them down to the edge of the desert where they were stripped of everything, stripped of the sciences we taught them, stripped of our books they stole from us, and stripped of their clothing. But lambskin. So one of these just said black air force energy, dude. Come on. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Hands were put on them to hide their nakedness. General Monk Monk stripped them of everything like and left them with nothing but their language of telling like lies and stealing. General Monk Monk put the evil. No, this is like this is insane. Why are you guys <laughs> making fun of this? This is real. <laughs> I'm not even making fun of it. I'm literally just watching this it's shit. So Albinoids and chains and put cable toes around their necks in preparation to drive them out of the land of light across the burning hot sands of the desert into the mountains, hills, and caves of beasts in what is now called Europe. Okay. General Monk Monk rode a white horse. Bro, look, and what did, what go. program did they use That's to crazy. make this? That is crazy. That what is program? Really crazy. What program? Like, 2D. why is like half of this drawn? Half of this like three D? What is happening? This is insane. This is beautiful. this is art. This is literal art. Can yeah. we turn this into an NFT? It's <laughs> so good. I would buy so fucking fast. This oh is so my crazy. God. Someone's major laser is immortal. No. He carried a high-powered rifle and a sharp sword of light. He carried a high-powered rifle, which is crazy. That's like back then. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what was happening there. The other soldiers in the army of General Monk Monk rode on camels 
and they carried long sharp swords in their hands. Members of the army of General Monk Monk were Evanoid people who had fell a victim to the schemes of the evil albinoids, so this is how they got them back for the hard times they- Yeah, this is what conservatives think CRT is, critical race theory, dude. Oh yeah. This is what they're teaching our children in schools, they're talking about General Monk Monk. <laughs> and the evils of albinoids. <laughs> received from the oh, evil boy. albinoids. General Monk Monk and his army made the evil albinoids walk every step of the way as they crossed the hot burning sands of the desert. General Monk Monk That's would make mean. the evil albinoids run when the sun was high in the sky at high noon. The evil albinoids would jump up and down as their feet would burn on the hot sand. Ask an ebonoid mason, when he crossed the burning sands, was he walking or riding? If he says he was walking, then he is a fool, because he was riding. He was riding horseback. He was riding camel back. It was the albinoid that had on the cable toe. It was the albinoid that Who had on the this? apron. It was the albinoid that was walking like the white sand 6,000 years ago. Made this shit. A lot of the Why evil albinoids I'm died from exhaustion, dehydration, and sunburn in the desert. Got the final cut General Monk Monk right expected all of the albinoids to die know, when he was what running them. This, what? Is that uh, this, this guy's like love and devotion to this fucking, I don't know what you're going to call it, General Monk Monk or whatever, like drove him to learn how to fucking animate. He, he learned yeah. new skills through his love for General Monk Monk. Amazing. And I think that is so powerful. That's beautiful. You know? Yeah. You know, he, he unlocked new skills. I've learned more the about these religions than I would have ever known uh, <laughs> on my own. You know, it's, so it's important to thank you for making me aware of this. I it's feel. important to learn the true history of how uh, how things got started. Yeah, and and why white people are oppressed, and that's why you can't say the c word. <laughs> Here we go. Full oh, circle. Full I'm circle. imagining. I'm imagining a conservative guy that <laughs> saw this had an aneurysm and now is like. That's why you can't say that word. Oh yeah. <laughs> we a... were enslaved by General Monk Monk. <laughs> us yeah, us a... children of Yakub were the were the original slaves. I would oh, pay hell. good money to see someone do that. Um, oh, it's so this good. Video to victimize themselves. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like but like like someone I got yeah, proof. Someone can Let take me send you a link. The, I'm telling you the wrong person sees this and they will think all black people have been planning this the whole time. Every time, every time I see a, a white person on Reddit cry about like uh, the word cracker, I imagine them thinking that this is real. Yeah, like that. That's this, this is. This, I knew it all along. <laughs> that's definitely like, it's this, it's definitely the same demographic for sure. Yeah, <laughs> like that. But those fools lived, brother. They lived. At night, General Monk Monk would make the evil albinoids walk. They did not stop day or night. If one of the albinoids fell to the sand, General Monk Monk would take them by their head and slay them right there on the spot, man or woman, it did not matter. It's so interesting. They did Why not is stop. This the they did story, not take a break. The albinoids I mean, I think really? like if we're if we're going to get yeah, real it's like, like overly descriptive. If we're going to get like real Freudian with it or if we're going to engage in like some I'm 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 I'm, I'm you know what I'm saying? I'm just like I mean, know. I think the real reason is because like it, it's um it, well, first of all, it's intergenerational trauma. So they want to stress like uh, uh, it, the, that there was a time when it, within the black mythology in their minds that like they treated white people in the exact same way that white people treated them. That's, I think that's where it comes from. If we're going to be serious about it for a second, it's mm -hmm. like, what did, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, that's why they're like super focused on this like Yakubian trail of tears. Uh, type situation had to walk every step of the way until they reached an oasis 1100 like miles from where they started at this oasis general monk monk allowed the albinoids to rest eat and drink some water for they had another 1100 miles to go before they reached their yeah. final yeah, destination they that shit? this was the first million man march when general gun, monk, no monk made a million this the first million man march across this was the first the million man march. Of yeah. the desert. Yeah. There's eight of them. After reaching the second oasis, the whole group of albinoids was what acting savage like on, animals. Dude. General Monk Monk had covered 2,200 miles and was in the land of what they now call Turkey. 
Once General Monk Monk let the albinoids loose, the I'm, a, albinoids I'm an OG child of Yaku. Why is there, there's a dog pooping in the Wait, background? Can we talk about the very valid point that they gave this motherfucker a gun, but not like a car with some AC. Bro, he's got a he's got a fully so he's got a fully automatic he hasn't even rifle. Used it yet. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah, why is there a dog shitting in the background? It's just because, like, that's the only image they can find of Turkey is, like, a dog shitting outside of a cave. What is it? Yo, like, I'm trying to see this from, like, okay, I'm in this shit. I'm watching it. There's some serious inconsistencies with this shit. Like, yeah. bruh. He's wearing skin-tight camo <laughs> pants that are, you know, like, in the gray. Cave in the Netherlands. He's wearing Bruh. gray skin tight camo pants, and you can see his fucking quads are just busting out <laughs> of the skin tight camo pants. That I love insane. the fez though. Is I don't know why he, he's got oh a fez, my but God, I can't. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Every every Slav or every fucking Balkan uh, dude is like, "This is real. This is what happened to the Turks." It's <laughs> ran wild up chat. into the caves and hillsides. They tore off their apron, walked on all fours, and lived a beastly way of life. General Monk Monk and his army stayed there in Asia Minor, Turkey, and the Straits of the Dardanelles, to guard the border to make sure that the evil albinoids did not try to enter back into the land of peace. Anytime one of the evil albinoids would try to ease out of the cave and try yes! to make it back to the land of life, General Monk Monk... And it's yes! the new one. It's the new one, too. It's the, it's the fucking new Star Wars lightsaber. Hold up, bro. I love General Buck Buck. Yes. Bruh. He's got, they had everything. He's got this the is the truth. He's got the Kylo Ren 7. <laughs> the, the new. Yo, it's a... There's a there's, it's a lightsaber and an AR. And he yeah. has... Yo. Yeah. I don't even know how to respond. I feel like they've, they, they they embellished a little bit personally. A I little don't know bit. This is like... I don't know if this is what actually happened, okay? I mean, most of the other stuff is real. Yeah, probably, yeah. That part, it seems Let's like... Know, it's fucking hilarious. Yo. It seems like there's a little bit of... That's just I was like, what? The little <laughs> side sabers came out. <laughs> yo, this... Yo. When it came out the side, I was like, what? Hold oh, no. up. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> but it's just a non-believer. Yeah. He, he's so just... <laughs> this is too much of a callback to you know Star Wars. Star to be a Wars. Part of it. But would cut off their head. The, the army of Star General Monk from? Monk Literally. would become the Turks, and after a while, the Turks would go across the border just to take heads off. Any albinoid they caught trying to come back across the border, whoop, off went their head. In the Bible, where it talks about an angel who had a flaming sword guarding paradise. It is taken from the story of General Monk Monk who had a sword of light, a lightsaber, and was protecting the holy city the from the of evil light, albinoids. The that shit is lore. This is what the Ebonoids did to the <laughs> albinoids. This is what the gods did to the devils. General Monk Monk and his army and their descendants <laughs> Somebody kept said he the got albinoids a confined in the caves of Europe for 2,000 years. <laughs> Within 1,000 years what after the they had gotten there, the albinoids... Well, that was a, that's a big... That's like... Yeah. This is a lot of animation. Like, they have to reuse it. You know what I mean? They're going to keep looping. They're going to keep looping the white guy walking on all fours and having his Slow head cut off. Having his, this is... Let's go! Oh, is Jesus Christ. If, if, this, if this version of Star Wars popped up on Disney+, Plus, I would subscribe so fast. Man. So the the interesting uh, part about this, like, I, I I don't know if I'm misunderstanding this, but like, does this mean like Turkish people are technically Ebonoids or Yakubian? Bro, I don't know. I oh. did not follow any of that. I'm just like confused. So wait, quick quick question, right? The the was the Yakuza, right? That, right not the Yakuza. No, that's, no, a, what, that's the Japanese mafia. The Yakuza. <laughs> so what are the people that follow this shit called? Oh, 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 the, this is, uh, I think this is a black, uh, Israelite, like... The, the black Israelites, do they think, like, we're gonna, we're gonna get this technology back or some shit, like, uh, for, further down the line, or where does this all circle back, like... Yeah, because if we already had guns back then... Yeah, because, because like... I, I might switch, <laughs> if we're getting sabers. Well, first of all, it seems like, it seems like maybe I don't have the, the C word pass anymore, because... Oh, it's Nation of Islam. Sorry, it's not. No, 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 no. My bad, my bad. It's Nation of Islam. It's not seven percenters. It's not uh, uh, black Israelites. Okay, okay. Pardon? 
Um, it, there's like different kinds of uh, mythology, like uh, ranging from like different kinds of uh, different kinds of variations, like Nation of Islam. Uh, this is Nation of Islam. Then there's like uh, Hoteps. There is well, I am literally. I should need to see myself out of black people's business, but this is the last time I'll uh, I'll talk about this. But uh, there's the Hoteps. There's people that believe that like slavery was not real, that it like never happened, um, and it was like a lie told by people. And uh, and then this is one one of the other branches. Well, damn. Yeah. I mean, shit, dude. Oh, my God. This is originally from the Nation of Islam. I grew up in it. It's a little off, though. Oh, okay. Okay, wait. To that person. No, 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 no. Malcolm X did not. No, 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 no. This is the this is the retconned, newer version of Nation of Islam, okay? Uh, this is not whatever, the Malcolm X version. This yeah, is, what, whatever Nation of Islam's beliefs, I'm sure it's probably not whatever this six-minute... Uh, well, it's it's, it's, yeah, it's it's a complicated but it's, concept, it's, but it's like a it's like a it's like a condensed like weird version of it, or this is literally it. Well, this is what happens when you know the guy yeah, that may or may not the guy that may or may not have participated in the assassination of Malcolm X took over. Just I don't know. May or may yeah. not have allegedly. Anyway, so here, let's finish it off. Yes, and please. could not stand upright. When the albinoids were free from the caves. They created a holiday called Thanksgiving, which is symbolic to what took place during the time of General Monk Monk. The turkey is symbolic of the Turks, who wore red fez with a tassel hanging down their heads, which was loose meat upon the head of the turkey. This what? is why the albinoids named the bird turkey. I love that they, I love that they mentioned they First of all, they named the, the word turkey. First of all, so in Turkish, in Turkish, the word turkey is Hindi, okay? It's not even like the same fucking word. Turkiye is how you say turkey in Turkish, and it has nothing to do with the 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 actual animal turkey at all. That is a pure like American English invention. Uh-huh. Bro. This is this is crazy. Uh-huh. This is better than Dark Souls lore. Yeah, this is. The albinoid would take this bird and chop off its head as a ritual form of revenge in the same way that General Monk Monk and his army of Turks would cut the heads off of albinoids. Oh, same thing. Farrakhan believes that white people are made by Yaku, but not the extra Monk Monk shit. Oh. He's got a play his own shit. Damn right. That's... I, Man, that, I'm dude. honestly so fulfilled with the content we just consumed. Bruh. I, I feel so good right now. There we go. We, we, learned, we learned a lot today. I uh, really did. Thank you for inviting me over. I'm in that. so that much great. pain mentally and spiritually. Yeah, this is... Uh, from everything I just witnessed. This is, this is a lot to, to handle. Yeah. <laughs> when I first found out... When I first found out that, you know, this was what was happening, I just <sighs> was taken aback. Well, at least you know your history, man. Yeah, now it's good to know. It's good to know what's going I, on there. I, I want to note out the fact that the lightsaber did double as a noose holder, and I hope you've seen that in the video. Yeah. Okay. Just we all. Seen I mean, that, it, right? it was it was you know. Vicious. It was a, yeah. Yeah. They okay. they have. That was the nation of Yahweh, not the nation of Islam. Okay, I'm getting conflicted uh, conflicting reports here. Uh, so that was just not the nation of Islam at all. I don't know. I I, I think it's like different varieties like you know people pick and choose different parts of this nations come yeah. after hassan abi i do not stand or align with any of this man's views the nation of hassan say that thank you very much yeah <laughs> i've never need to watch another youtube video ever again i've i've seen the best one now yeah that was like that was some really original content right there for sure yeah that yeah i mean sure. i but i appreciate that because like at least it's unique at least it's oh. interesting you know what i mean Bro. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ! It was unique. Yeah, and then the Mormon one was uh, also unique. Yeah, I, you know, I wanted to give a little bit of column A and a little bit of column B. You know what I mean? <laughs> Trying to give all sides. Yeah, that's fun. That's a good time.